welcome back to the daily edit. You guys asked for a 10 by 10. Your wish is my command. A 10 by 10 it will be today. And I thought I would do a summer edition, of course. Of course, on the day that I'm recording this video, it is absolutely <laughs> peeing down outside. Although for the whole 10 by 10 section where I have to change into 10 different outfits, I'm actually quite happy about that. But I have 10 items here to share with you. I'm gonna make them into 10 outfits and change things up a bit with accessories. Speaking of which, one of you asked to see my like raffia straw bag collection. And again, I can do that for you. They're all the bags I'm gonna be wearing today with the different outfits. So it makes sense to talk through all of them. Basically, I've got three straw bags. I've got my little, my medium, and my large. And my large is this from Wood Grey, which I don't think is running anymore, which is so sad. They did lovely straw bags on there. This is just a very, very, very big <laughs> under the arm straw bag that you can fit absolutely everything in. There are so many like this on the market, I can definitely find a dupe for you, but I get a lot of use out of this, especially on beach days or when you're on holiday and you just need to throw everything in, like for hand luggage, I've taken this before. It's obviously brilliant when you need a lot of space. My sort of in-between bag, the medium one, is this from LM. This is their raisin raffia bag and I like it because it's a similar-ish shape to the Loewe puzzle bag which I mean I just absolutely adore and wear all the time. It's quite structured, it's got a flat bottom so it just sits up like that. You've got a magnetic closure on the top, you've got a little mini handle or you've got this long adjustable handle so you can do it over the shoulder or crossbody whatever you fancy and once again you can fit a surprising amount in here. So I use this one quite a lot during the summer. Then this is my most recent edition. I picked this up last summer, the summer before. They all blend into one. This is from Loewe and this is just a little kind of, I think they call it the pouch. It's like all of my other bags, but in miniature. And I really, really like this one because it has a zip top. None of my other straw bags have a zip top. So I was thinking this would be better for city breaks, times when perhaps you wanna be a little bit more safety conscious. And once again, you can either just hold it or you can wear it crossbody over your shoulder. Um, yeah, it's very, very cute. Actually, if you do wanna see my bags, my bag collection, I've done a bag collection video which features little cutaway clips where I share with you what I put in each bag and what I can fit in each bag. Hopefully it's super handy. I'll link that in the corner for you. But that was nothing to do with the 10 by 10. I have the 10 items here that I'm gonna share with you and actually two pairs of shoes this time. I was just gonna do one, but obviously I have some constraints when it comes to my wardrobe these days. And it just worked out quite nicely to have two pairs of shoes and be able to sort of dress things up and dress things down a little bit. So I've gone for my lock Ara sandals. Um, I ended up wearing these to a friend's wedding recently and they were more than, I think I, I wore them the whole night. Yeah, I did. I took my by far, my carry sandals, my high sandals. I wore those for the first bit. And then for the rest of the evening, I wore these. They were perfectly comfortable. I've well and truly worn these in so the leather doesn't like hurt or create blisters or anything like that. I just absolutely love these. Again, there's always some good high street dupes out there for these. So I'll try and find some and link them below for you. And then my Birkenstock Eva sandals. I mean, yeah, these, uh, these, these are wonderful. <laughs> and obviously as things expand, I love that these are adjustable as well. Um, yeah, and they're so light on your feet. I have nothing but good things to say about these. I basically wear these 95% of the time that I'm leaving the house right now. Okay, on to the clothes. Now this time round, there are two dresses. I'm not sure there's ever been two dresses in a 10 by 10 before, but Dresses are just, they're, they're kind of the thing right now. <laughs> First up, I have this from Faithful the brand. It is beautiful. It's a lovely linen, like quite a heavy linen. It's not super sheer. It's actually got a lining underneath. It's this beigey, yellowy background with black dots. If I'm gonna do pattern, it's gonna be leopard print or some kind of take on leopard print. And I guess this is the colors of leopard print, but in a long tiered dress with this lovely elasticated top. So really handy for providing support in the boobage area. <laughs> Lily Rich and Grey came to visit yesterday and I wore this for the whole day, wore it down the beach, wore it for lunch, and I felt so comfortable in it. it, it it's, it's just lovely. <laughs> I'm realizing now that my other dress is also a very similar shape. I obviously have, I have a type at the moment and it is 
this kind of shape um, it's just very accommodating for my needs and also just nice and light and breathable it's not too much under the arm so I'm not creating sweat patches all over the place this is from Arquette pretty sure I mentioned this in my like spring summer haul video and shared some styling ideas in that video I, I really love this it has pockets that's one thing that the Faithful the Brand dress doesn't have. This one has pockets. Definitely get some plus points for that. The adjustable straps are really handy as well. And again, it's just got that elasticated panel, which just makes it so comfortable and so versatile. And it's sort of a midi to long length. It's slightly shorter than the Faithful the Brand one. Makes it feel a little bit more holiday casual rather than something so formal. Who remembers this top from my California haul? I picked this up from Shop Anno Me when I went to San Francisco, which is Chelsea's shop. And it's just, I thought maybe when I bought it, I was like, oh, one day that could be a very handy pregnancy top. And I have to say, it is. It's perhaps a little bit short for me right now. I'm now in my third trimester and things are growing. <laughs> but I can still wear it without it being a complete crop top, depending on what I'm wearing down below, obviously. But again, I'm just loving not having too much under the armpits. And I really wanted to have some kind of camisole, sort of sleeveless number as part of this 10 by 10. And this works really well because I don't need to wear a bra with it because you, you can't really see your boobs. It sort of flares out. <laughs> it's very A-line. I forgot to say the brand. That is from a brand called Open Air Museum. And yeah, I've had it now for two years. It just comes in really handy in the summer. I will try and find some dupes for you. Then we have a little Arquette moment for the rest of the three tops I have here. So I have four tops in total. This is just the Pima Cotton long sleeve white t-shirt. I, I would probably sub this in for the short sleeve t-shirt, but my short sleeve t-shirt is just in the wash right now. So let's just pretend <laughs> that this is short sleeve, but it's so thin, gauzy and light. Um, so it is very comfortable to wear even on super, super hot days. The oversized linen shirt. I wear this in a size 36 normally, but it's still working in pregnancy as well. There's plenty of space in there. I, I, ugh, the biscuity oatmeal color of this, I feel is so flattering. It's got just the right amount of warmth in it. It's absolutely perfect. Um, I've got the matching trousers. I've got the matching shorts, which you'll see in a bit. I get a lot of wear out of that. And then this is the cotton poplin number. So again, very, very similar shape. I have this in a 38, so it's slightly more oversized. This is the size that I normally have in it. I have this from like last year, year before. I obviously love the linen numbers, but they can feel very summery. Whereas I feel like the cotton poplin ones are a bit more of a year round thing. You could wear this at Christmas and someone wouldn't be like, oh, you're wearing your linen at your Christmas dinner. <laughs> Super oversized. I mean, this with some cycling shorts and just my Birkenstock Eva sandals is probably what I would wear most days. The final two pieces are bottom half pieces. Now, normally this part of the video is like, this is my jeans. <laughs> that, yeah, not, not today. Instead, I've gone for my Arquette linen shorts. So these are the ones that match the shirt that I showed earlier. If you have one, I feel like you've got to have the other. There is, it, there's something so chic so chic about a matching shirt with the matching shorts. Oh, I was going through the 10 outfits and I'd say that actually probably is my favorite outfit. It's, it's just so nice. <laughs> and then I have these from And Other Stories. These are the flared leggings. I have mentioned these so many times in recent videos. I mean, this is a little bit Regina George. These are all that fit me right now because I wouldn't say they're the thinnest things in the world. This is probably, oh, it's a summer day, but it's raining. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit chilly. These are definitely my, whoa, it's really boiling hot number. These are for when I, I'm, mm, it's maybe like 16, you know, 16, 17, or in the evening. But we're running a little low on bottom half options right now. These still work. And obviously, depending on what you have on top, I feel like they could still work for summer. They're not fleecy or anything like that, you know? So those are the 10 items. Let me share with you the 10 outfits that I've made. This is outfit number one. And yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a classic, really. An outfit that I have worn so many times before. Thankfully, it still fits. And it's just, it's just comfortable and it just makes me feel good. I just feel good in this outfit. I feel like I could do anything in this outfit. I mean, 
<laughs> that's maybe a stretch. I just feel like summer activities, the beach, going for a little wander around the park. Um, I like it. And also I like that I'm a little bit covered up it means I don't need to go so ham with sun cream. And sometimes, yeah, just want to like cream up my legs and like leave my arms. And with this outfit, I can do that. So yes, definitely a winner for me. This is outfit number two. And you know, when you just put an outfit on and you're like, this is me. This is a bit of me. This is an outfit that I like very, very much. I foresee this dress in particular becoming a real summer staple for me for years to come, just because I'm like, I'm gonna say the C word again. It is so comfortable. <laughs> I really enjoy the length on it. I love the straps on it. I just think the straps on it are so very, very cute. And it just does what it says on the tin. Occasionally in the UK, we get days that are so hot, you don't want anything touching your body. And I feel like this is the dress that I would wear for that occasion. For outfit number three, I feel like I can already see the comments. People being like, girl, that, that is a summer outfit. I'm talking for the UK here and I'm thinking in the evening, you know, you could always have a little bit more chest out on display. And like I said, my options are a little bit limited at the moment, um, but I, I really, really enjoy this outfit. I think I wore a very similar outfit to this in my spring summer haul video and just bookmarked it. I was like, oh, like that. Really, really like that combination. I mean, this is something that's been in my wardrobe for years. The leggings are a newer purchase, the bag and the shoes I've had for quite a while as well. And I just think everything works together to look quite polished, really. So outfit number four includes the camisole that I was mentioning. Um, yeah, I just, I love this camisole. I think it's such a lovely piece. I mean, is black. <laughs> a lot of my summer wardrobe is uh, ironically black, um, but it's comfortable. It doesn't like grip around the underarms too much. And I like it just paired with the cream leggings and then something like my alien Nina bag. I feel good in this outfit. For outfit number five, I've called it covered, covered up. <laughs> it's a little bit more covered up than the other ones, but let's face it, I live in the UK. Sometimes it's a little bit chillier in the summer, but I feel like this still looks summery because ultimately you're still doing your Liz Hurley thing all in beige, you know? One thing you could always do is put like a racer tank or something underneath this shirt and you could wear the shirt open and have it as more of a jacket, but yeah, I like it like this. Um, I really like this outfit actually. This is definitely one on a day like today when it is raining outside. Maybe this with a covered shoe instead of the Birkenstocks on a day like today, but a nice one for, for evening dining maybe. For outfit number six, I wanted to do an outfit that showed that the oversized um, cotton Pima shirt from Arquette doesn't need to always be worn so oversized and baggy. You can kind of put a knot in it. You could always make it a little bit high waist. You can make it a bit cropped. You can roll up the sleeves, make it a little bit more fitted and just provide a little bit of extra coverage. Maybe if you're wearing the dress underneath and you just are feeling a little bit chilly, you could always just make it into a little croppy number, you know? Outfit number seven is dressy. This is the dressiest one of the pack. I'm not gonna lie, I have a summer wedding to go to um, in July. I think this could be a good option. I mean, it's very expandable. <laughs> it should grow with me. I think it looks great with the lock sandals and the alien Nina bag. Like this to me is very appropriate summer wedding guest attire, but also maybe just a nice dinner somewhere. Wow. Can you, can you tell I'm hungry? How many times have I mentioned dinner during this video? So this is outfit number eight and it's the same outfit as earlier, just the basically all beige, but hopefully a bit of an example as to how just changing up the shoes, the accessories, and I don't know, putting your hair up in a bun can kind of change the vibe completely. Obviously this middle section is the same, but the alien Nina bag, I feel like this is a little bit, fancier and then obviously the lock Ara sandals again just a little bit fancier than the Birkenstocks and sometimes I feel a little bit more put together with my hair up so yeah this is if I wanted to make that outfit like polish it up a bit take it up a notch. I've sort of played around with outfit number nine a bit because I wanted to show how the cotton poplin shirts are just so good to wear as a jacket. If you're gonna do one of these 10 by 10s there's such a good piece to have because you don't really need a jacket they're just such a good layering piece. For example, went down the beach yesterday, just took one of these with me. It was perfect. 
but also just because of the current situation I feel that things can be a little bit too baggy they need to be fitted slightly it was a bit too like baggy and then baggy so I've just tied it round and created more of like a top and a skirt out of it and actually I far prefer this to just wearing it open and having it baggy and yeah you kind of get a skirt and a dress in one. For outfit number 10 I thought what is what's the true uniform here what is the outfit formula that I will probably wear the most this summer and it is this I mean probably untucked not gonna lie just a bit more comfortable um, but this is just a little Arquette ensemble with the wood grey bag the Birkenstock Eva sandals you know adjusted to be a size or two bigger um oh there you go it's <laughs> it's falling out anyway this is just ultimate summer comfort for me and uh yeah realistically what I will probably live in for most of the summer so that's the summer 10 by 10 for 2021 I really hope you enjoyed this video everything will be linked down below for you as always along with dupes if I can find them I would love to hear what number was your favorite or what outfit was your favorite. For me, it's all about the beige on beige. Beige on beige on beige, I, I just love it. What can I say? But what one did you love and is there one that you can recreate from your wardrobe? I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. for a new video. See you then, bye.